Groupie streptococcus continues to be one of the main causes of disease among newborns throughout the world. If you take the different types of clones that are found within this species, strains belonging to clonal complex 17 are usually the ones most frequently associated with disease. In this work, our team at the Institut Pasteur, led by Philippe Glazer, performed the genomic analysis on the largest panel of CC17 strains to date. The idea was to compare the genome sequence of strains collected from asymptomatic GBS carriers to those from infected patients to identify specific genomic traits that could be associated with disease. You see, when bacteria normally replicate, there is a chance that errors are introduced into the DNA sequence of certain strains. Then, depending on the kind of impact that these errors or mutations have on the affected strains, they can either disappear from the population or they can continue to propagate in subsequent generations. On the off chance that they continue to spread, we can then use statistical analysis to understand whether this was just due to chance or if there is actually a selective advantage provided by these mutations. Among the various genes that we found to be highly affected, specifically in strains from disease, there were two, known as COVES and STK1, that are particularly interesting. They are part of a, a larger regulatory network, known as COVAR-S, that controls the expression of many virulence-associated genes. Another target, though, that had a unique sequence pattern was the one coding for the surface protein RIB. In this case, strains from infection had actually fewer tandem repetitions within the coding sequence of this gene than those strictly from carriage. Since this, uh, degree, this uh, degree of repetition is directly proportional to the level of immunogenicity of the protein, we believe that this might actually represent an adaptive strategy of strains from disease to evade the maternal immunity that is transmitted to, to the newborn. So in the end, uh, this work showed that many virulence-associated genes in GBS acquire frequent mutations specifically in strains from, from disease. On the other hand, among the various targets of mutations, were other genes that haven't yet been characterized in GBS. So we also believe that this work may drive the discovery of new and important functions for GBS pathogenesis.